Okay, um, so we are going to start building our environment. So let's uh, launch a Houdini. Um, I like to launch my Houdini from the terminal. You can do the same thing in uh, Windows as well. It's because just when it crashes or if it does something strange, it prints out all the information that otherwise is hidden from you. Um, so it comes handy. Uh, and then it kind of like, yeah, it's very useful. It took print out logs and uh, debugging, etc. Okay, um, so let's close everything we don't need. Um, we are going to start <clears throat> by generating our terrain. So let's create a geometry node. We're going to name it terrain. Let's put this guy in a network as well, just so it's already it starts organized. We're gonna call this NY and environment. Right, that's how you write NY. Okay. Um, so just dive inside <coughs> and drop a height field. There. Um, so the size is important, obviously. Our uh, CD uh, scape, uh, the whole uh, network uh, is 2.6 kilometers by 2.6 kilometers. Um, and for now, we're gonna keep the resolution as it is. So I think two is now quite, um, so that makes it 1.69, 1.6, 1 uh, 1 1.7 million uh, voxels. Um, eventually, we're gonna go down to 0.5, and it's gonna. Yeah, so that, that's that's roughly enough. Um, maybe maybe it's okay. Well, uh, depending on your uh, performance, uh, depending on the performance of your computer, you can just play with these values. Obviously, they will change the output. Um, so let's add a little bit of noise. Height field noise okay and we're gonna plug this guy in here okay so I will drop the performance uh, I'll increase the uh, size for now so we'll, we'll crank it up after we finish network okay so um, just Probably you should use the exact same numbers as I'm uh, doing here. Uh, so otherwise, we might end up having different results. Probably for the first run, it's safer to just uh, do exactly what I'm doing, unless you know you just want to do it different. Of course, it's possible. Um, so then we are on sparse convolution hybrid terrain. Um, these two are default. <coughs> Roughness, please change it to five four seven. And we sh there shouldn't be anything changed under anything else. So it's just uh, creating our pretty much just random noise. Um, and then bring in a height field pattern. I will be keeping videos like uh, one hour each. Um, that's uh, more manageable. So I'll try to finish a, a, a chapter in an hour as well. Uh, but some of these will take longer than that. Um, okay, so the, the pattern is just gonna, you know, like create a pattern like this. So we're gonna use that to change it, to add some shape to it. So change the combine width to subtract, height to 217, and then change it to cells and size 200, and wall to 0.359. We <coughs> were scattering the buildings around this, we will be coming. So then go distort pattern, curl is fine, amplitude is six, element size is 100, yes, roughness is 0.471. Okay, I'm um, just gonna make sure that I'm having the same result with my 
on other monitors so uh, sometimes I just skip attributes and then it just end up having something completely different which is not very cool um, and as it stands I think it's already different is it though I am just gonna cross check this with my other screen well yeah kind of oh, no it's not the same oh yes it will be the same just gonna we are here right okay so yeah I think the the pattern here is it must be something that is not actually the same subtract 217 size 200 rotate jitter okay it's jitter one yes okay now it's the same all right okay all right cool um next node is height field remap let's plug it in um so just go compute range and then i guess i just change the values okay so we're gonna go minus so i'm gonna put a side view so you can see what it does we're gonna change the uh we're gonna first feed in some numbers and then using the curve under we're gonna uh, manipulate RGR. Uh, minus one hundred eighty nine point forty nine seventy eight point five four 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 minus one hundred eighty nine point forty nine and seventy eight point five four four four. Okay. And then um here on this remap, click these little sections and change those to sp spline, please. And then just click somewhere. It's gonna give us a, just like at two sections and I'm gonna give you the values now. Um, so the first one position is 0 0.117102 and 0.313953. And then the second one is at 0 0.764111 and value is 1. And finally, the last guy, you're going to pull him a little bit forward. It is at 1, but the value is for position is 0 0.973862. All right. Yeah, it looks the same. All right, now we're gonna add a height field blur. Just so we can add more noise after. Height field blur. So I'm just completely generating like an alien landscape. It's, uh, it's, it's obviously completely uh, unrealistic, but hey, we decide what we make. Um, so just put the radius to 11.5 still working on the height layer um, so now we're gonna get um, we need to draw a mask okay so there's a node called height field draw mask I'm gonna plug this guy here and plug this guy here okay so I am going to show you this here once and then I'm going to copy the node over so because it's, it's actually something I need to draw so it's going to be otherwise too difficult so <coughs> stay in combine it is in replace but then go invert mask and blur radius of 50 and I think then you select, uh, should I change it to strokes? It will come there and then there by the, yeah, okay. So that I, you can move the mouse over to the viewport and then just hit enter and then draw, okay? So I'm gonna disable that again, just so I can do it again, sure. So select the node, that's how you activate nodes in Houdini uh, for, the, for the viewport keys mouse. So select the node, move the mouse over to the viewport, hit enter and then draw your mask so now because we want to match the shape I'm gonna copy paste this now from the other file and I have another one I'm gonna copy paste that as well okay. 
Okay, um, so now we want to use a height field ray map again, but using this as a mask also. So height field ray map. This goes here. This goes here. So because now we have a mask, <clears throat> I'm gonna put the numbers here, minus 189, point 49, 78.51910, <clears throat> okay, and we have some extra information so yeah i guess it's clear what it's doing here um height fit remat just like takes your means and max and then you can just you can just move them around but by using a mask we are kind of creating our little uh creator that is not round but yeah um so then please do the same thing select all the create like one two and then um, I wonder if the values are same. Can that, they, I think they are the same, so we can probably just copy this one. Except this time, I want out min to be zero, out max to be zero. Okay, and the rest the same. So now we're gonna add another noise, but. Before we continue, okay, I'm doing the same thing here. Okay, um, we're gonna have another height field nose just to now add back some detail again. Height field noise. And let's go. Um, for the values amplitude 100 element size 250 um roughness down to the roughness 0.547 so um we're gonna do another branch to use after because um what we want to do is that we want to use these little sections uh these uh, extrusions that is inside uh for scattering our building shapes okay but I don't want to actually render them. So I want that area to be empty. So we're gonna follow another branch now that will go from, um, we'll, we'll come up from the height field nose area. So we're gonna put another height field remap. Okay, so let's plug this in under the noise. Okay, um, the values goes, uh, for input min, it's minus 189.49. Then um, 78.5444 again, I think it's the same one. Copy it, 189. It's like I have so many nodes in this uh, tutorial, I don't even remember anymore. 5444, okay. And then, uh, yeah, I think it's the same one. Just gonna cross check. Yeah, we're just gonna copy that one, literally. Well, we don't even have to actually can now, but we don't want the pattern, so yes. We need to bypass the pattern. Okay. And then um put another blur. Eleven uh twelve point five. Then we're gonna go put a remap which is the same one. But with different values. So just let's copy this. Okay, so obviously now we need to fix our numbers so it goes down instead of up. So minus 444.975 13 48.38 minus 262.875 and then 78.3838 
why is it oh yes because we need to connect this one here because we need to, this to be inverted i think yes okay yeah that looks quite same to the other monitor so we're gonna continue now down our chain now um if you do a middle mouse here we have a mask so we, i want to uh, continue down to uh, optimize and <clears throat> make our scene a bit more interesting so but we're gonna go down first from here this 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 part was the very first part I did in the tutorials I'm also a little bit like uh, I might have forgotten um, so I have a height field layer clear but I'm not actually using it so maybe actually today I learned something interesting okay well I don't actually know what this does I used it, so I'm gonna drop it. But okay, let's 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 learn as we make it as well. High feel. I guess I wanted to clear the things I wasn't using, so I'm gonna just plug it in there. See actually if it does something. Apparently, it's not doing anything. Uh, mask one. So what if I go one? Okay. Well, let's read. number of layers so it just clears the layers okay yes uh, not much information okay well um, I'm gonna keep it there just so it doesn't change some underlying uh, information it may have um, so then I'm gonna put uh, another blur height field blur <coughs> and I'm gonna change the value to shrink I want so it kind of gives us a little rougher edges it's a bit more um, I guess interesting um, and then I have another clear okay well sometimes maybe I'm not very optimized as well um, and I'm not really using these I don't know why okay so here's the part now we're gonna do a little bit erosion So we're gonna drop a height field erode node. And before we plug it in, we're gonna set the values. So I would like this to freeze at 50 frames. So it's just gonna internally go to frame 50 and that's it. that will be its output for us. Um, so the, in the main tab, everything is default. I didn't play as much with these. This is not a terrain tutorial, really. We're just preparing the base for our tutorial. Um, here's my global seat number. That's gonna return the same result. And I think that's all the removal rate because I was just, I guess, changing the seat to, to get uh, some different uh, interesting results and everything else should be the same. Um, so that's gonna go for 50 frames. And if I just plug it in and just gonna wait until it goes on and on and this is still um, the uh, low res version so it kind of takes a little actually until it gets cooked properly And I guess um, I can come back to you. There's no point for us to just wait and watch. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video then. <laughs> 